Hello everybody out there in YouTube land and the interwebs. I want to talk to you about what the real pandemic is. Fear is the real pandemic. That is what is causing people to allow ridiculous things such as wearing face masks, social distancing, you know, not being able to uh, hug or do do anything that friends do or that lovers do if you uh, have a relationship like that. You know, in many instances having difficulty shopping, working. There's even been some people that proposed trying to force people to wear the stupid things while having a Zoom meeting. Anybody with half a brain can tell that's BS. You can't transmit pathogens over the internet. Just not possible. <laughs> you know, if people turn off the television, ignore the liberal newspapers, and start reading things like the Bible, encyclopedias, I think we would find courage to rip off those stupid symbols of oppression and be free again because people would not be fearful. Fear is the real pandemic we are facing. The only time it mentions when you should wear a mask is in the Bible is when you have leprosy and it is only over the mouth, not over your nose. God knows that we need to breathe. And that's only if you're verifiably sick. Not if, oh, we think you're sick because we think you might have come in contact with somebody that's sick. You don't isolate, biblically and scientifically speaking, somebody who's perfectly healthy. If you're breathing normally, okay, and not, oh, you think you're not breathing normally, well, a doctor says, if you feel just the way you've always felt before this whole mess, then you are okay. What we need to do, those of us who have still have half a brain, who don't typically watch television or the news media, is continue to be an example and be courageous and do the opposite of what these so-called experts are trying to tell you. And then maybe then we will solve what the real pandemic is, fear. And we will get people to suddenly realize, hey, wait a second. What the hell am I so afraid of? So those of us who are being courageous continue to do so. We are the cure for the fear pandemic.